Have you ever wondered how to grow chili in a greenhouse? Well, you're in the right place. We're about to embark on a journey that will turn your greenhouse into a hotbed for chili peppers. It's a journey that involves a few key steps. Selecting the right seeds, prepping them for planting, nurturing them in the greenhouse, and finally reaping the fruits of your labor. Growing chili in a greenhouse isn't just about having a constant supply of this fiery ingredient. It's also a wonderful way to exercise your green thumb and tap into the therapeutic benefits of gardening. Plus, it's a great environmental choice as you'll be reducing your reliance on store-bought produce, which often involves long-distance transport. So, whether you're a seasoned gardener or a beginner looking to spice things up, this guide is designed to help you every step of the way. So, if you want to know how to grow chili in a greenhouse, stay tuned. Before we start planting, let's make a checklist of what you need. It's essential to have all the right materials at hand to ensure you can give your chili plants the best start in life. This way, you can avoid unnecessary headaches down the line. First on the list are chili seeds. You can find these at your local gardening store or online. There are many varieties of chili, so choose one that suits your taste and climate conditions. Remember, the type of chili you choose can greatly affect the heat level and flavor of your final product. Next, you'll need pots. These will serve as the initial homes for your chili seeds. Choose pots with good drainage to prevent overwatering and root rot. The size of the pots should be sufficient to allow your seedlings to grow and develop without getting cramped. Soil is another critical component. It's not just any dirt, but a rich, well-draining soil specifically designed for growing plants. It should be loose and rich in organic matter, providing your seeds with the nutrients they need to germinate and grow. Speaking of nutrients, fertilizer is next on the list. A slow-release organic fertilizer works best for chili plants. This type of fertilizer slowly feeds your plants over time, ensuring they get the nutrients they need throughout their growth cycle. Last but certainly not least, you'll need a greenhouse. A greenhouse is a controlled environment where you can regulate temperature, humidity, and light levels, all crucial factors for the successful growth of your chili plants. It protects your plants from harsh weather conditions and pests and can dramatically increase your yield. Now that we have gathered all the necessary materials, it's time to start planting. With everything ready, you're well on your way to growing your very own fiery chilies right at home. The thrill of watching your plants grow from tiny seeds to full-grown plants loaded with vibrant, spicy chilies is truly unmatched. So let's get those green thumbs to work. The first step in our chili growing journey is preparing the seeds. The beauty of chili seeds is that they're sturdy and resilient, but giving them a little extra care before planting can make a world of difference. Start by soaking the seeds, place them in a cup of warm water, and leave them overnight. This softens the outer shell, allowing the seedling inside to break through more easily. Plus, it gives them a hydration boost, which they'll need as they start their growth journey. After a good soak, it's time to dry the seeds. Spread them out on a paper towel and let them air dry. This step is crucial because excess moisture can lead to mold and other issues. Soaking and drying may seem like minor steps, but they set the stage for a strong start these small efforts can lead to a bountiful harvest down the line. With our seeds prepared, we are ready to move on to the next step. Now comes the exciting part, planting the seeds. This is where our journey truly begins. To start, you'll want to place your chili seeds into the pots you've prepared. The process is simple, but it's important to do it correctly to ensure the best possible results. First, make a small indentation in the soil about a quarter of an inch deep. This is the perfect depth for chili seeds. You don't want them too deep or too shallow. Then, gently place your seed into the indentation and cover it lightly with soil. Spacing is also crucial. Each pot should contain only one seed. This gives each chili plant the room it needs to grow and thrive without competition. Remember to be gentle throughout this process. 
These seeds are the beginnings of your future chili plants and they need careful handling. With our seeds planted, we now need to provide them with the right conditions to grow. Let's move on to the next step, maintaining the greenhouse. A greenhouse provides the perfect environment for our chili plants to thrive. And to keep it that way, we need to maintain the ideal conditions for chili growth, temperature, humidity, and light. Chili plants are tropical in nature, which means they love warmth. The ideal temperature is between 70 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and should not drop below 60 degrees at night. It's essential to keep an eye on the thermometer and adjust your greenhouse heating or cooling system as needed. Humidity is another critical factor. Chilies like it humid, but not too humid. Aim for a relative humidity level of about 50 to 70%. If it gets too dry, you can increase the humidity by misting the plants or using a humidifier. If it gets too humid, Open the vents or use a dehumidifier to prevent condensation and mold growth. Light is the third component of the chili plant's happiness triad. Chilies need a lot of light, about 14 to 16 hours a day. If your greenhouse doesn't get enough natural light, you might need to supplement with grow lights. And while we're on the subject, let's not forget about ventilation. Good airflow is vital to prevent diseases and to strengthen the plants. Make sure your greenhouse has vents, fans, or both. Watering is also part of maintenance. Chilies like well-drained soil, so water thoroughly but infrequently, and never let the plants sit in water. Finally, keep an eye out for pests and diseases. Regularly inspect your plants for signs of trouble and take action at the first sign of trouble. Remember, a greenhouse is not a set-it-and-forget-it operation. It requires regular monitoring and adjustments to keep the conditions just right. But don't worry, with a little practice, you'll get the hang of it. Maintaining the right conditions in your greenhouse will ensure your chili plants grow healthy and strong. And that, my friends, is the secret to a bountiful chili harvest. After weeks of care and attention, it's finally time to reap the fruits of our labor. If patience is a virtue, then chili growers are truly virtuous as the waiting period for these fiery fruits is no small feat. But trust me, the wait is worth every second when you finally get to savor the fruits of your hard work. Now, you might be wondering, how can you tell when your chilies are ready for harvest? This is a crucial step, as picking them too early or too late can affect their flavor and heat intensity. Well, the key lies in their color and firmness. Typically, chilies turn from green to red, yellow, or orange, depending on the variety when they are ripe. They should also feel firm to touch, but not hard. However, if you're growing green chilies, you might need to rely more on the size and firmness to determine their readiness. As a rule of thumb, the chilies should be fully grown and slightly firm to touch. The exact size can vary depending on the variety. But a good indicator is when they have reached about 3 to 4 inches in length. Now, onto the harvesting part. While you might be tempted to simply pull off the chilies, this could potentially damage the plant. Instead, use a pair of sharp scissors or pruning shears to cut the stem, leaving about an inch of it attached to the chili. This not only helps to prevent damage to the plant, but also helps the chili stay fresh for longer. Remember, it's important to handle the chilies carefully as they can be quite delicate. And if you're dealing with particularly hot varieties, you might want to consider wearing gloves to protect your skin from the capsaicin, the chemical responsible for the chili's heat. And there you have it, your very own homegrown chilies right from your greenhouse. Just imagine the satisfaction of adding these freshly picked chilies to your meals, knowing that they are the product of your own hard work and dedication. Now that's a flavor you can't buy from a store. Growing chili in a greenhouse may seem like a daunting task, but with these steps, you can do it too. We've walked through the entire process, from gathering the necessary tools and materials, preparing your seeds, planting them carefully, maintaining the perfect greenhouse environment, all the way to harvesting your very own fiery chilies. Remember, the beauty of growing chilies in a greenhouse is that it allows you to control the environment, giving your plants the best chance to thrive. 
you're not at the mercy of unpredictable weather and you can provide the perfect conditions for your chilies year-round. Plus, there's something incredibly satisfying about picking chilies that you've nurtured from tiny seeds into mature, flavor-packed fruits. Growing your own chilies can be a rewarding and spicy adventure. So, are you ready to start your chili growing journey? We can't wait to hear about your greenhouse chili success stories.